here's some tips on how to deal with negative comments. And this can be whether it's on your personal social media page or if you want to post for your business or brand. First, I always like to look at it in a matter of statistics. So if you're putting out something and it's going to gain a lot of traction or the video could potentially go viral, you have to think, okay, now a million people have seen this. If you gather a million people in a room, chances are some of those people are not going to be good intentioned or good people. And that's just a matter of fact, it's going to happen. So if you have a post go viral or you have to get a lot of traction, it's going to come with some negativity. And that's just something that you just kind of have to accept, unfortunately. But when you get that negative comment, my first tip is just, take a deep breath and before responding or internalizing anything you definitely want to make sure that you're not responding impulsively or negatively and letting your own emotions kind of take over in that situation and then next you always want to deploy empathy I think you always want to take that moment to kind of put yourself in that person's shoes and here's the thing you're gonna get some negative comments that can be productive maybe they make you rethink an idea that you had or maybe they're gonna say something that's gonna help you grow in some ways but there's definitely positive and productive ways of doing that and then there's just comments that are flat out negative and mean and rude and when you put yourself in that person's shoes maybe you could look at it as like maybe they woke up and had a horrible day maybe it's something about the way that I look that's triggering them it could be all these different things that are outside of your control and all you can do in that moment is look at that person's comment and think I feel really sorry for you because whatever you're going through that made you put this much hate or hurt into a comment towards me when I know that my intentions were good and true I feel sorry for you. I think that's why it's important for this step to always respond with kindness and to put your energy into the kind and supportive comments and even the ones that challenge you. Always stay true to your intention. I think it's important if you have your own just personal brand or personal social media page, it's good to maybe write out like a core value statement or some sort of mission statement for yourself. And if you have a business, it's always good to follow that mission statement. And if you have a lot of negative comments coming in, maybe take a step back and reflect on that and think, am I following my intentions in this? Am I sticking with my core values? Is my integrity still there? And if the answer is yes, then you're good. And then finally, if you don't want to have to deal with the negative comments, remember you can always hire content creators. That's why they're out here. Content creators have sort of developed this way to build a wall against those negative comments. And we're all still human. We all still get affected by things, but we're equipped with so many more skills that we're able to know how to cope and deal with that. There's also multiple ways that you can post on social media that doesn't involve putting your face in front of the camera. You can do text, you can put an image of something that you're working on and maybe explain what you're doing. There's so many different ways and I think content creation in general is equipped with so many different ways to do that. Hope that helped.